today, this is just a small rant on my take on Goku vs Saitama. I want to get started by saying, well, first off, they both are like, they both broke their limiter, right? And they both, in battle, have unlimited growth potential. And this increases significantly in battle. It's not permanent. Their strength does go down, but it only goes back up. So, by that definition of how breaking a limiter works, and how plot armor works in both universes, if we were to put them two together, and they fought, not to the death, but because, well, first off, death between them would never happen, and it's likely that they'll become allies, but like, if they were to actually fight, wouldn't it just go on forever? And hear me out. I'm gonna say this again, they both broke their limiters, that means they are limitless, right, in growth potential. So, they are both infinitely growing each second they fight. But that also means both of them become uh, pretty much unkillable and are also pretty much infinite strength. So let's say uh, they first meet, they're both pretty weak at the start. Over time, they're both just going to go stronger and stronger and stronger infinitely because they neither of them have a limit. And I'm, I'm not going to, like, I'm not saying that Saitama or Goku would win. I believe that neither of them would win. And this is logical because if one of them could actually win in a battle, let's say theoretically to the death, the battle would never end because neither of them can die. And for example, in One Punch Man, it's it hasn't happened yet, but in One Punch Man it is confirmed that he will eventually fight God canonically. And something similar with um, Goku did actually fight something of like like a maker of the metaverse or omniverse multiverse whatever it was and you know ignoring the like un no low ignoring the no limit fallacy for a moment um i believe just their pure power and constant growth would only make them infinitely battle there's nothing saying that one would win. Sure, Goku might have greater feats. Allied Destroyer not has have joined as Squadron. As Goku does, but that doesn't really matter much because you know Goku's the, the show that Goku is in Hello. is um, far more um, older than One Punch Man. Give me a moment. So. My thinking is here that, logically speaking, they would spar, they would realize that neither of them are stronger than the other, and they would become allies. Even if, even if one was stronger than the other, I think they would still become allies, realistically, because they both have the same goals, they both have, um, you know, the same personality, you know, that stuff. Goku's gonna help Saitama fight monsters, Saitama's gonna help Goku fight their enemies. Give me a moment. And so What are you doing? Um what will happen is is that I can't I can't do it. <laughs> what will happen is is that Yeah, point is they're just gonna become allies. That neither of them are going to be able to beat each other. 
sure you could say that like oh Saitama did that or Goku did this but it doesn't really matter more feats doesn't prove that either of them could kill each other so and I don't, I don't really see a way of them um, of them killing each other because it just you know, it doesn't make sense you know Goku's Goku and Saitama are like one and the same, just Saitama is more satire and Goku's more serious. Despite them being two completely different Ally animations, Destroyer has left squadron. There's not really a difference between them. They're both pretty much immortal. They're both pretty much gods in a way. For example, Saitama like turned back time. Goku destroyed a universe, you know, these things only a god could do. And yeah, they've, they've both even ripped fractures in existence itself. You know, yeah, like, I don't really see the debate here. Nine of them are going to win, so why bother debating it if neither of them win? Because that's just my rant that I had to talk about. So, yeah.